Welcome to the Robcast. If you dig this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Rob Show. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Rob Show TV. And keep up to date with all things Rob Show on social, The Rob Show, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And now for your listening pleasure, today's Robcast. There's a celebrity. He was a superhero in all of the Marvel movies, and now he is being honored by Disney. They gave him an award, and while he was accepting that award, he told everybody, hey, the first time I ever went to Disneyland, I got kicked out for smoking weed in a gondola. So I'm wondering, where are the weirdest places that you've tasted the devil's lettuce? Home to phones that are on fire. Phones on fire. Full board of phone calls. Line one, the marvelous one. Line two, Tom in Fort Myers. And on line three, Mark in Naples will take your calls coming up. If you would like to chime in, where's the weirdest place that you've ever smoked the reefer? Iron Man. Robert Downey Jr. was being celebrated at Disney's D23 Expo this past weekend, where he revealed that the first time he went to Disneyland, he got kicked out for smoking weed in the gondola. Uh, The very first time I, I went to Disneyland, I was transported to another place within moments of being arrested. (laughs) I was brought to a surprisingly friendly processing center. (laughs) Given a stern warning and returned to, if memory serves, one very disappointed group chaperone. I've been sitting on that shame for a while, and I'm just going to release it here today. I would like to make amends to whomever had to detain me for smoking pot in the gondola without a license. place that I ever smoked marijuana and I haven't done it in quite some time. I'm telling you children out there, don't do drugs, man. They don't pan out. You know what happens if you do a lot of them in your teenage years? You end up here. Don't do them. Weirdest place I ever smoked weed? Underneath Frank Roller's mom's porch, 9 Varden Road, Brigantine, New Jersey. The year must have been 2003 or 4. It was right before I started chasing this dream of radio, which it's a dead end. It's a nightmare. It's not a dream. It's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, so I must have, it was before I moved away for radio, so it must have been 2003 or 2004. We made a grav bong out of a bucket underneath his mom's porch, and we smoked weed. It must have been November, because I remember it was very cold and just very New Jersey-ish. It was, That was the low point of my life. Grav bong rips underneath Frank Roller's mom's porch. And now we'll go to your calls. Where's the weirdest place that you got high? Let's go over here to line four. Good evening. Who's this? You calling about weed? Uh, Talking about the weird place you smoke. Yeah. Where'd you smoke weed at, man? I'm the cops. I'm coming to get you. I'm sorry. Just kidding. What's up? Uh, I was uh, on top of an abandoned bank next to Publix right in front of my high school. So you went inside the bank to climb to the top to then smoke the reefer up top? No, we just climbed in from, there's like a ledge, and we climbed on top of the ledge and then climbed on the roof. And then my buddy started walking around because he was all sketched out. Some old lady called the police. (laughs) What a narc, what a narc. All right, man, well, thank you for the phone call. Yeah, no problem, man. Have a good night. Who's this? Uh, this is Rhett. What's up, Rhett? Where's a place that you smoke the marijuana at? Um, well, I I pregame to go to Walmart. I wanted to try to out weird the weirdos. <laughs> yeah, okay. That sounds like a fun Saturday night. Hey, we're sitting around yeah, in Punta Gorda. Fun. There's nothing else to do in Punta Gorda, so let's get loaded on some natty lights, and then we'll go to the Walmart and people watch. It was around Halloween time, so I put on a Chewbacca mask and chased my girlfriend around Walmart. Uh, just watch people and try to copy them and went to the Halloween section and just played dressed up and laughed our butts off. But you didn't, you didn't smoke weed in the Walmart. Uh, no, I did. Oh, <laughs> did you get in trouble Before for that? After. Uh, no, we had one of those pens and those are, Oh, that doesn't count, man. I'm talking oh, about like a blunt. That's a, yeah, not, oh. that's hipster getting high. I'm going old school joints and blunts, man, but I do appreciate the call. All right. Thanks. Who's this? This is Vicky. Hi, Vicky. What's going on? Oh, my God. I didn't even have, like, a lot of strange stories. But I was a pothead. Like, we smoked pot everywhere. Like, at school, we would smoke in the practice rooms. We would smoke in the bathroom out of soda cans because we thought that if we got busted, if we crushed the can and threw it in the garbage, that they wouldn't know what it was. <laughs> oh, my God. We were stupid stoners. Yeah, like, we totally... 
Oh, it didn't matter where it was. We got stoned. No, it was bad. Yeah, I mean, that's stoner logic. Hey, man, if we crush it up and we throw it in the trash, they'll never look there. They'll never know. Yeah, why would they look on the tampon <laughs> thing? Like, it's gross in there. Oh, no, we thought we were geniuses. Oh, uh, that's a oh, great story, God. Vicky. Thank you for the phone call. You're welcome. Have a good one. Who's this? Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Welcome to the radio program. What you calling for? Well, where I smoke dope. <laughs> dope. All right, where that makes it sound like you were getting high on heroin, Miss. Uh, the marijuana. <laughs> let's be. Let's clarify. <laughs> the marijuana. Uh, where did you get high on the devil's lettuce, there, hon? Well, I was in Italy and visiting the Vatican, so I smoked marijuana with the Pope. <laughs> uh, this is Tammy. Tammy, where are you calling from? Florida. Well, get, duh. I mean, I'm in Florida, Tower, Port Charlotte. I didn't know the people in Port Charlotte party down like that, getting high inside of the the Vatican, man. Hell, hell yeah, yes, we do. Did any? So, would you smoke a joint in the Vatican? I did. Wow, that's crazy. All right, this is Tammy from Port Charlotte, Florida, and she smoked weed inside of the Vatican with the Pope. Tammy, I appreciate your phone call. Hey, you're welcome. Who's this? This is Rick. What's up, Rick? Where are you calling from? Uh, Fort Myers. All right, Rick in Fort Myers. Where's the weirdest place that you've tasted the devil's lettuce? Smoke the Chiba. It was the Atlanta airport going down the moving walkway. Was it on a vape pen, or were you actually smoking a joint on the moving? No, no. This was probably in the late 80s. We didn't even have a, a, a paper, so my cousin went into the store and took a woman's tampon. <laughs> and we, we, we took the outer wrapping off of it, and I went into the bathroom and rolled one up, and we're going down the walkway. There was nobody in sight, so we said, let's fire it up now, and we did. Oh, man. Stoners are like the MacGyvers of drug addicts. We'll find any way to fashion whatever you need to into a bong. I once watched a comedian turn an apple into a pot. Like, he walked in to the hotel, and he saw at the front desk of the hotel they had apples, and he was like, yo, go grab a bunch of the apples. And I was like, that's weird. You're fat. Why do you want apples? And then we went back to his hotel room and we started making bongs out of the apples. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah, thanks, Rick. Children, if you're listening, don't use tampons or apples to smoke the reefer. This that's is Rick. Right. He used a tampon in the 80s at the airport to get high. Well, thank you for the phone call, Rick. Uh, all right. Thank you. Robert Downey Jr. got kicked out of Disneyland for smoking marijuana in a gondola. So it begs the question, you the listening audience, where's the weirdest place that you've gotten high? Let's go over here. K-Rock, who's this? Hey, is this Dan? What's happening? Dan, where are you calling from? Uh, uh, Lake Placid. Oh, oh, man, I'm doing comedy out in Lake Placid. You should come. November 30th at the Elks Lodge, open to the public, Chuckle Hut. We're doing it out in Lake Placid. This nonsense reaches Lake Placid? Yeah, yeah, barely. <laughs> oh, well, don't don't make it sound like crap. Say, yeah, you can hear it crystal clear. We'll edit this in post. Well, cool. Uh, you still looking for some crazy places where you smoke weed? Yeah, sure. Okay, we'll move right along from the comedy plug and straight into what Dan wants to talk nah, about. Nah, Go nah, ahead, nah, Dan. Nah. I'll, I'll what? be there November 30th. November right? 30th, Lake Placid, Elks Lodge, Chuckle Hut, LOL.com. All right, Dan. I'll be there. I'll introduce myself. Go, I, hope you, I hope you come out, Dan. Where's the weirdest place that you smoke the Chiba, my friend? Well, uh, I'm from Massachusetts. Back in Massachusetts, the little town I was in, I smoked it on top of the police station. How do you get to the roof of the police station? Open, well, I worked for the city at the town, and we got inside, and we were doing some work on the roof, and we were up there during active hours, and later on, I got caught up with a few of my old police friends, and they could smell it, but they couldn't figure out where it was coming <laughs> from. <laughs> Oh, that's great. This is Dan out in Lake Placid. Uh, he smoked weed on top of the Massa- one of the a police station in Massachusetts. Dan, I appreciate the phone call there, pal. All right, brother. I have a full board of phone calls, so let's get that started right now. This is Gary in Fort Myers calling in. Good evening, Gary. How are you? Great. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, Gary. Uh, where is the weirdest place that you've smoked marijuana? I give you your choice. Smoked a joint on top of a 30-ton earth mover in Honduras cool. while I was on base. Oh, man, I don't even know where I can. If you, like, told me, here's a million bucks, point to Honduras on a map, I wouldn't be able to find it, my friend. Where's Honduras? <laughs> That's not Middle East, right? Because they'll kill you no, over there for that. No, this is uh, South America oh, over by okay. Nicaragua and El Salvador. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah, okay. I don't know where those are yeah. either. But, yeah, let's pretend I know where they're at. All right, so you <laughs> were on base, so you were in the military, and you were smoking yes. the Chiba? Yep. Can't you get kicked out for that? You can if you get caught. Oh, let me, all right, let me. 
answer your question, man. So, like, do a lot of guys, because I always assume that the dudes in the military, they ain't doing nothing. Like, it's just push-ups and cleaning your guns and defending freedom. But, like, you yeah. can actually, you have time to get high and, like, there's other guys in the military that do that? Yes. Oh, man. Well, thank you for your service, man. You earned it. If anybody should be able to go and do that, it's the dudes who are defending my freedom to go into the woods and do it by myself if I want to do it. I mean, it's kind of illegal here, so you can't do it at all. But this is Gary. He did it on base while in the military. I appreciate the phone call there, Gary. Let's go over here. This is Don in Port Charlotte answering the question, where's the weirdest place that you've gotten high? Don, where is it? Uh, I'd be in a courtroom in Detroit, Michigan. Oh, uh, yeah, but Detroit sounds like a lawless land as it is. Like, there's not any <laughs> rules up there at all, man. The only thing well, I know about Detroit is that RoboCop was in Detroit. And even when that movie was made back in the 80s, Detroit was a dump. I had gotten arrested for fighting outside a bar uh, the night before, and they, they took 10 of us in there at a time and put us in a booth off to the side inside the courtroom, and some guy lit up a joint. We sat there and smoked it. Did, I mean, don't they have, like, cops inside the courtroom? They had a cop about six or eight feet away, and he finally smelled it after a minute or so, but they got rid of it real quick. <laughs> yeah, you can just eat the roach real quick. That way nobody gets in trouble. All right, this, yeah, is, right. this is Don. He uh, he smoked weed in a courthouse in Detroit. Appreciate the phone call, Don. And now it's time. There's a gal on the line, uh, and I think I'm going to ask her if she's interested in playing this game. Get the cherry. Get the cherry. Get the cherry. This is a gal on the line. This is Stephanie. Welcome to the program, Stephanie. How are you? One. Would you be interested in playing a game? It's called Guess the Cherry. It's where I guess how old you were when you lost your virginity. Yes. Guess the Cherry. Oh, Stephanie. Guess the Cherry. Guess the Cherry. It's a glorious day. All right, Stephanie, tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you? 32. 32. What city are you from? It's very important. I've heard the girls in La Belle are loose. Naples, Florida. Oh, oh no, Naples. That's a, that's an uptight community. I mean, you know, I, it's weird that you guys even have sex in the Naples. I didn't think that was possible. Um, all right, so you're 32 years old. Are you from Naples? Were you born and raised Naples? Or are you imported? Born and raised in Naples. Oh, all right. 32 years old. So a girl with some money. That means you have class. You live in the <laughs> Naples area. Probably drove a very nice car in high school. What kind of car did you drive in high school there? I had a Toyota Camry my entire life. Yeah, was it? <laughs> but was it true. new when you were in high school? Was it a new Toyota I'm Camry? Not. 1994 Toyota Camry. Oh, I was, was wrong. Green. I used to take it out to the tram <laughs> a long time ago. What's the tram? I'm not from around these parts. Is that where all the kids well, go to neck? That's when we were younger. <laughs> Anyways. All right. Let's guess. Let's get to the important part when you lost your virginity. Yep. Uh, so you're 32 years old. You're married, single. What's your situation? I am going to hopefully get married on 11 7 2020. So We're you're still in, in the process of planning all but that. But you We're are engaged. engaged. Yet. We have a date. Oh, so you're not engaged yet, but you have a date. So you're engaged to be engaged. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing there, hon. All right. Uh, 32 years old. She's engaged to get engaged. They're going to hopefully get married at some point. I mean, but let's see if the we engagement are. happens first. I'm going to guess that you were 15 years old when you lost your virginity. Stephanie, how old were you when you lost your virginity? 14. Oh, they're so close. 14 years old. How old was the guy? 16. Oh, okay. That's not bad. All right. Let's see. All right. You want to play the follow-up game quickly, and then I got to get to some commercials. Can you play the follow-up game with me? Heck yeah. Oh, you're the best. How have you been within a sexual slumber? We're going to nail the number. Nail the number. Both of these games, by the way, provided by the great kid Chris out of Cincinnati. Uh, I love that fella. All right, Stephanie. Nail the number is a game where I guess how many men you've had sex with in your lifetime. If you lost your virginity oh, at 14, uh, you're 32 years old now. A piece of paper. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I got to guesstimate. You got to give me like 10 seconds. All right. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. This is Stephanie on the line, 32 years old. She's from Naples. She's engaged to be engaged. Uh, she lost her virginity at 14 years old. I'm going to guess that with 18 years of having sex under her belt, she has had sex with twice as many men. I'm going to say 36, but uh, Stephanie, it comes down to you. How many men have you had sex with in your lifetime? Way less than 36. Okay. (laughs) Sorry. I know that. All right. What do you think? Like uh, 15? Uh, I would say... I would say probably between 10 and 15. Oh, I mean, I'm sorry. That was the wrong button. I mean, that one. All right. Stephanie, uh, so t- between 10 and 15? Yeah. Ah, good for you. All right, that's good. Good. Well, good for Mr. <laughs> Stephanie, who's about to put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Hey, tell him if he wants to do it. The classy move would be to come here on the radio in studio and oh. drop down to one knee and make the proposal. If you know it's already coming, let's do it here on the radio. Oh, yeah? Yeah, isn't that, that, every, girl's, like- isn't that every girl's dream, 
Stephanie, to get engaged on the radio at night? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I want to engage. I have a ring. All right. Well, all right, Stephanie, hang on the line. All right, that's Stephanie. Thank you for playing the game. More of your phone calls coming up. We were talking about Robert Downey Jr., Iron Man. He was once arrested for smoking weed at Disneyland. He chose to reveal this while accepting an award at the Disney D23 Expo this past weekend. So he's on stage. They're about to give him an award. And he goes, hey, I got to let you guys know something. The first time I went to Disneyland, uh, I was arrested because I was smoking weed in the gondola. So I uh, opened the phone lines. Where is the weirdest place that you have smoked weed? I am a reformed pot smoker. I don't do it anymore. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Whatever I got to say. You know, I don't... Th- it's... Yeah, what, to each their own. I don't condone children doing it. Don't. Because look what happens when you do as a child. You end up here in between Creed songs yelling. But I asked, where's the weirdest place that you've ever done it? People have called in. I got two guys on hold who both claim that they've smoked weed in prison. We will go to those phone calls in just a second. Let's go over here to line four. First, good evening. Who's this? Hey, good evening. This is Ray. Hey, Ray. Where's the weirdest place you got high? Well, you know, when we used to go hunting for shrooms back in the day, well, you know, we, we smoked right out in the cow field with the cows. How far? Like, did you do that around here? Yes, sir, right here off of uh, Corkscrew Road. Oh, wait. I, can't, I mean, that's right where I'm at, at work. You're telling me when I get done work tonight, I can just stumble into a field and find mushrooms? Not that we're condoning that people do that. I'm just asking <laughs> as a geographical question here, fella. Well, you used to be able to. It's all... uh gated communities now. Oh, uh, yeah, then it'd be weird if I was, like, on somebody's front lawn and they came outside and, like, what are you doing out there? I'm, like, I'm looking for mushrooms. Don't worry about it. All right, Ray, so you would go out to the cow fields, collect a whole bunch of mushrooms, and then you'd smoke the chiba. And get really wasted. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Ray, well, thank you for the phone call there, bud. Let's yes, go. sir, have a good night. Let's go over here to line two. Who's this? Tom. Tom. What's up, Tom? Where's the weirdest place that you smoke the marijuana? Uh, back in New Jersey, I climbed the fire escapes of the Capitol building with my high school girlfriend, went up to the roof, had sex, smoked a blunt right afterwards, and it was the best day of my life. Oh, so like you mean like the state capital, like where the governor Tr- is? Trent, New Jersey, oh. yeah, the capital. <laughs> well, you can't go to Trent, New Jersey now, man. You'll get stabbed walking from your car inside of the... That's a dangerous place, man, Trent. I was on, I was on the roof, dude. I had sex with my high school girlfriend and smoked a Big old freaking joint right afterwards. Yeah, man. You, hey, listen, you were doing the stabbing in Trenton that night, you know, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. You're right. Tom, thank you for the phone call. Uh, so coming up, I got Greg and Bill. Both of these guys are online four and five, and both of them are claiming that they smoked marijuana in jail. And uh, I don't know. That's a, really... I mean, you could call up and make up anything here on the radio. You're going to say you smoked weed in jail. We'll talk to them coming up. Let's go over here to line four. Who's this? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? Nothing much, man. Just another beautiful day in Florida. Yeah. I mean, it might not be beautiful by the end of the week. There might be a hurricane right above us. Yeah. yeah. It won't be so beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Not for me. I went through one, and it scared the (laughs) crap out of me. All right, this is Mike. He's calling in. He's living in paradise. Just another day in paradise, isn't it, Mike? Of course. Life is a Jimmy Buffett jingle. All right, well, what can I do for you, Mike? (laughs) Uh, Nothing. uh, You guys were saying, uh, where's the strangest place you smoked weed? And uh, mine was clam baking the gondola going up uh, the mountain in Colorado. So you were inside the gondola where you're going to go skiing or snowboarding and you're getting yeah. ready to go up. Yeah, you got to be careful, man. Did you see what happened to that Kennedy kid? One of those kids ran into a tree and so did Sonny Bono. Well, they don't, they don't have any good eye hand coordination, so, you know. Yeah, those Kennedys. They just have yeah. bad luck. They just they have bad luck in general. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. All right. So uh, this is Mike. He was in Colorado. Is that where you were? Colorado? Yeah. yeah going up to Colorado, just clam baking the gondola going up the hill. I've never heard clam bacon before. I like that. That's a good term. The old clam baker. The clam baker. <laughs> this? Hello? It's hey, Greg. Hey, Greg, uh, where's the weirdest place you smoked weed? Arizona State Prison holding tank. Oh, man, you were, wait, so you weren't actually in pres- uh, prison. You were, like, pre-prison, and you're like, this is a good time to get high. That is exactly right. I actually had some stuff that I had stashed in my uh, underwear, you know, down there. and uh... You didn't, you didn't. It you uh you just put it in the underpants you didn't bury no, it well no I was wearing cut off shorts and like a cut off shirt and uh you know they checked me going in but I still had it when I was in the cell and ended up talking to a few people in there and they're like hey let's uh let's let's sample some of that you know while we're in here <laughs> yeah what a good way but, to make um, friends in the jail. Sto- Long story short, they ended up like the sergeant team. He's like, you think you guys are so smart smoking that under our noses in here? (laughs) What were you in pre-prison for? 
I got caught rolling a doobie. And they, <laughs> you know, they threw the cuffs on and took me in there, but obviously they didn't find my stash. Yeah, you, you, you hit it pretty well, and then you shared, listen, that's a good way to make friends in prison and guarantee you're not going to get raped is smuggle the drugs into the prison, and then all the guys in prison are going to love you, and they're not going to want to have sex with you, and now you're just the best friend, and then then you're not getting this happening to your your BH. It's not that Well, it was kind of time. funny when the this, when this, when this sergeant came. He's like, everybody split up, so the people who smoked and me were on one side of the cell, and everybody else was on the other side of the cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a bunch of narcs. You went to prison with narcs. All right. All right, thank, thank you for the phone call, man. Very funny story. This should be Bill over here. Bill? Yeah, my name is Bill out of Naples. Bill from Naples. Where's the weirdest place you got high? In jail. <laughs> I had another guy that called from in jail. All right, how'd you get high in jail, man? Well, we snuck it in that and some acid, too. We oh. were tripping and smoking, though, everything. Oh, man, I would not want to trip on acid in jail. That sounds like a nightmare, man. No, it wasn't that bad. It really wasn't. Oh, I look. I'm not going to last in prison as it is sober. Like I'm a very small and effeminate male. I would end up getting this done to me all the time there, buddy, and I wouldn't want well, it. But I can't it like. Just, it was just regular jail. I've never been to prison. Well, okay. Well, even in regular jail, man. If I went to county for a night, I'd be like, all right, whose bitch do I got to be so we can make it through tonight? That's I just want one guy. I don't need like a whole train of them. <laughs> Bill, what'd you go to jail for, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I was contributing, I was contributing to the delinquents of a minor, buying beer. Oh, you bought, yeah. I, my best friend when I was growing up, I was a 17-year-old pizza delivery driver, and the 39-year-old box folder that was the slow guy from down the street, he calls in sometimes, his name's Cheeseburger, he would go and buy his beer, and he became my best friend. To this day, 20 years later, still my best friend, Cheeseburger, the guy that he contributed to the delinquency of minors, much like yourself. Yeah, yeah. I got I got popped with beer in the truck and had some miners with me. Yeah, it's not a good time, Bill. All right, well, thank you for the phone call, dude. I appreciate it. Yep. Hello, who's this? I to get into Yeah, it. hello, what's up? Hey, this is Rick. How's it going? Good, Rick. Are you calling because you won tonight's contest? I hope so. That's what I'm doing. Yes, this is Rick. So the contest earlier in, like, the 6 o'clock hour was, where's the weirdest place that you've smoked weed? And, Rick, where was the weirdest place that you smoked the marijuana? <laughs> well, Atlanta Airport. You And what did you do? What just smoke it out of you were going down to, to retell the story for those people who didn't hear it in the six o'clock hour oh well me and my cousin were flying out to san diego and we stopped in atlanta and you know back then i was wearing a suit coat with a little bit of the weed in my pocket so we realized we had nothing to put it in so i i remember somebody said use a tampon i said well we don't have one of them i said but the store does so he went in and snuck one out and we took the outer paper off and went into the restroom and twisted one and we went down on the moving walkway and nobody in sight so we just fired it up then now here's why i awarded you the prize tonight rick because a look a lot of guys have called in there was a guy that did it on the roof of the capitol building in new jersey there was a guy who did it in prison another guy who did it in a prison holding cell people have called and said they did it in the bathrooms of high school so people have done it all over but yours right. took ingenuity you were the yeah. macgyver of marijuana my friend you took a <laughs> tampon and turned it into a a smoking device. Therefore, I award you points, A, for the testicular fortitude to go into an airport and do that back in the 80s, but B, creativity. Bravo, my friend. You're an Thank engineer you very of cannabis. How's it feel there, fella? <laughs> Feels pretty good at this time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick, hang on the line. Thanks for checking out the Robcast. If you dug this, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash robshow. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash RobShowTV. And keep up to date with all things Rob Show on social, The Rob Show, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.